Hello everyone, uh, today we will see a topic uh, that comes under midwifery and obstetrical nursing uh, that is known as the uh, postnatal complications. So first we will see what is meant by uh, postnatal period. Immediately after the delivery uh, till the uh, 6 weeks duration or 42 days it is known as the postnatal period. Any complications uh, or disorders that takes place during this uh, period then it is known as postnatal complications. So as a nurse we, ha we should be very much awareness about what are the complications that happens in the postnatal period, monitor the mother, identify the risk factors and this will uh, uh, prevent the uh, postnatal uh, morbidity and mortality uh, in a postnatal woman. So, first we will see uh, first condition that is the uh, puparial uh, uh, infections. The infections that takes place during the puparium period uh, in the genitalia uh, then it is known as the puparial infections. Uh, can be of uh, different organisms such as gram positive, gram negative, aerobic and anaerobic bacteria. Uh, then as we will see uh, what are the conditions. First one is uh, puparial uh, pyrexia that is an increased body temperature due to puparial infections in a consecutive period to, uh, two times over a uh, day that is a uh, 24 hours within uh, 10 days or one week of uh, duration. Then it is known as the puparial infection. So women have the complaints of increased body temperature, uh, malaise and uh, uh, variation in the temperature uh, uh, pulse and they can go with the shivering or the rigor. Then next one is puparial sepsis. The sepsis that uh, can be caused uh, uh, due to puparial infections maybe septicemia. Uh, mainly the, what is the main cause if you see uh, organisms uh, uh, such as uh, group A beta hemolytic uh, streptococcus uh, then methylene resistant uh, staphylococcus aureus clostridium welchi e coli uh, streptococcus staphylococcus uh, pyogenes uh, uh, so these are the major organisms and uh, if they have the risk such as diabetic mellitus anemia malnutrition previous history of genital infections uh, operative deliveries any pelvic hematomas uh, uh, the women are more getting the postnatal uh, sepsis. So, here endogenous origin is the exogenous. Endogenous within the uterine, exogenous from outside organism will enter into the uterine cavity. And if you see the spread of in infections, local infections, uh, the women will have the local wound, pain, malaise, fevers, rigor, such as. The next uh, intra uterine, the infection will be localized in the uterine cavity. They can go with uh, mendometritis. The next is uh, extra uterine spreading of infection to other uh, such as pelvic uh, peritonitis will be there, uh, pouch of Douglas abscess formations, uh, uh, salpingo uh, can be happen uh, and septicemia also can be happen and th thrombophlebitis. And uh, our uh, nurses role we have to uh, find out the uh, women. Uh, bed rest has to provide adequate uh, analgesia can be provided uh, antibiotic like lindamycin uh, uh, metronidazole antimicrobial penicillin resistant uh, penicillin antibiotic therapies uh, and uh, drainage uh, uh, surgical intervention can be done and uh, ICU resuscitation measures if the woman is seriously ill. And second problem is subinvolution of uterus. Uh, the in involution of uh, uh, uterus is impaired during the postnatal or puparium period. So we can identify uh, what is the uh, condition of the woman, uh, explore the uterus, any retained bits is there removed and pessaries uh, can be applied, methogen drug can be given and reassure the woman. And third one is urinary complications. Uh, the urinary Urinary complication mainly due to the stagnation of urine, urinary infections uh, like uh, bladder or the uh, kidney, uh, repeated vaginal examination, catheterization during the delivery procedure, any time they can go with urinary complication. That is first one is uh, retention of the urine. The urine will be uh, stagnant inside the uh, bladder uh, due to the bruising or the edema of the bladder, uh, neck of the bladder. And uh, here uh, the uh, 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 next problem is uh, incontinence of the urine incontinence of the urine uh, they can go with the stress incontinence uh, immediately after the retention of urine uh, then next uh, they can go with uh, overflow uh, incontinence uh, will be there uh, then next uh, true incontinence if they have any genito uh, urinary fistula is there uh, next uh, problem is uh, uh, 
uh, the uh, that is uh, suppression of the urine that is the amount of urine will be less 400 ml within 24 hours there will be go with any kidney failure or not uh, next uh, condition they will get is uh, venous thrombosis venous thrombosis mainly uh, due to the reason of venous stasis uh, injury to the vein uh, or hyper uh, uh, coagulability status during the postnatal period first one is deep vein thrombosis deep vein thrombosis uh, mainly iliofemoral vein can be affected the thrombosis will be present in the vein and the next one is thrombophlebitis thrombophlebitis uh, inflammation of the veins is known as thrombophlebitis here one complication ha happened phlegmasia alba dolens so here wide leg is uh, uh, for wide leg is formed for the women and the next one is pulmonary embolism that is a serious emergency situation amniotic fluid all uh, blood clots can be moved and enter into the uh, pulmonary systems uh, so these are the major so assess the condition of the women uh, elastic stocking can be prevented early ampulations uh, mri ct and diatomic uh, test can be done and uh, they can uh, uh, go, uh, go with uh, surgical uh, measures also if the serious if embolism is there ICU and resuscitation measures can be given next uh, problem is breast complication breast complication breast engorgement collection of uh, milk in the uh, uh, ducts so here uh, ask the woman to feed the baby cabbage application can be done hot water application manual like uh, massaging and expression of the milk demand feeding can be done next condition is mastitis inflammation of the uh, uh, breast bruising edematous so identify the cause and give the antibiotic appropriately next one is uh, uh, breast abscess collection of uh, uh, fluid in the breast cells so here uh, dra drainage uh, can be done surgical intervention uh, next one is uh, 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 crackle nipple that is loss of surface epithelium of the nipple so here nipple shield can be done and uh, next one is crack uh, retreated or flat nipples uh, here massage therapy or manual expressions of the milk and uh, uh, give to the uh, baby uh, next uh, uh, method is uh, if you see uh, they can go with uh, uh, puparial uh, lactation failures the inadequate production of uh, uh, breast milk so here if you see uh, uh, they can go with uh, uh, metoclopramide uh, therapy can be done and another uh, complication is uh, uh, psychiatric complication one is uh, if you see uh, third day blue or postpartum uh, uh, blue so here if you see third day or fourth day this problem will be arises due to the low tryptophanon uh, later uh, they will go as a normal conditions postpartum depression uh, they will have the loneliness uh, not taking care of the babies uh, they will have the mood disorders uh, so here flu uh, therapy can be given and postpartum psychosis that is a complicated situations uh, uh, schizophrenic attack uh, they can go with all the symptoms of depression and and they can go with infanticide and uh, uh, the suicidal attack can be happen and uh, last we will see what are the uh, postnatal emergencies third st uh, stage complication li like a postpartum hemorrhages is there uh, the next postpartum eclampsia that is the seizure is there uh, postpartum palsies or uh, neuritis is there cardiomyopathy is there so as a nurse we have to monitor the uh, women during the postnatal period very crucially and we can overcome the uh, morbidity and mortality so today we have covered the topic known as postnatal complications we have discussed about different postnatal complications and the nurses role so i am signing off mrs neema so next video will meet again thank you